Hi guys, what's up? Tier 3D Alpha. It's uh, it's my morning cooking time. By the way, remember how I told you guys I have one hour for everything during my day? I break up every hour and I give it a specific task, but this is my cooking hour. I try to do that usually at night, but a lot of stuff happened yesterday, so I gotta do it in the morning today. But anyway, um, I'm making, I'm stir frying my beef. A lot of you guys don't know how to stir fry it. It's pretty simple. I mean, you just go on, on YouTube, any website, I'll show you different ways of doing it. I try to keep it as basic and simple as possible. Then again, you got to customize it a little bit. You got to put in your little twist. So, um, the way I do it is I have, uh, obviously, the main ingredients. Uh, soy sauce, olive oil. Well, this is another soy sauce. Soy sauce, olive oil, peanut oil, um, black pepper, garlic powder. This is optional. Oyster sauce. Um, I have my onions, my bell peppers, my tomato, ginger. Um, matter of fact, salt. Just a little bit of salt because all that soy sauce is full of sodium. And it's gonna be high in sodium, obviously, but I don't care. Like I said, it's, it's not a big deal. I drink a lot of water, and you only live once, guys. Fuck it. Just, just, just be careful. Drink a lot of water, and. Um, Unless you're preparing for a show, don't really worry about sodium. We live in America. It's sodium in everything, man. Especially if you're bulking. And as far as tools, you need this for the ginger. You'll need a cutting board. This is just a dollar. I got it at the dollar store. Uh, knives, obviously. A bowl. Uh, a scale. If it's, that's really op that's optional. I mean, that's if you're cutting or whatever. But um, I like chopping up my, my beef in four ounce portions. That's why I need a scale. You need a drainer. And, um... I don't know, I'm not a fucking chef, so if I make a mistake, I'll just comment it on the video later on. But anyway, that's the way I do it. In the meantime, I have my wok on the, on the, on the stove. You gotta heat it up really hot. So, anyway, what I like to do is I like to um, cook a lot and then either freeze it or store it in the fridge. Usually freeze it. I know it's gonna lose a lot of flavor, but I don't really care. I mean, so you wanna rinse this out. That's what I do. I rinse it out and then I drain it. By the way, every time I cook, I have my headphones on. I gotta listen to some hot music, some good shit. Uh, I'm always listening to music. You guys know this. If you're an old subscriber, you know this. I'm always listening to music. It helps keep you in a you know, positive mood. It makes you think. It makes you relax. So, it's great. All right, once you drain the beef, grab your salt and your pepper. Well, actually, skip something. You want to chop it up in small portions. Because when you stir fry, you want it to be on the on the wok for about 90 seconds max. The smaller it is, the the, the quicker it's gonna cook. All right, guys. Next up, you want to chop up your tomatoes and your your onions and your bell peppers and put them in a separate bowl. Oh, shit. Yo, you got glasses? Sunglasses. Fuck. Oh. Oh. Alright guys, once you chopped up your peppers and tomatoes and all that cute shit, you grab your beef and throw it back in here. Guys, very important that you learn how to cook. I mean being able to cook is priceless. It saves you money. It uh, it's good. You know what's going into your food. Uh, you don't have to worry about eating rats and shit at a restaurant. And I think any man, a lot, a lot of people say, well, let your girl cook for you. I think that's um, nah. I don't. I don't like looking at it this way. A man should be able to cook for himself. But then you get married, and then your your um your girl is mad at you. She refuses to cook. Now you got to go out and cook now. Nah. Learn how to cook for yourself, man. You never know, one day you might make a romantic dinner for your shorty. In fact, um, no, nah, I'm not gonna tell you guys that story. Some of y'all are a little. All right, next step, you wanna put some seasoning, put some salt in here. Not too much, because the soy sauce is. Put some pepper. Shit, man. Not open. Your husband, you help me out? My hand is wet. 
Hey, Chet, uh... Alright, back to the video. This thing hands up for the help. Next, you want to add your soy sauce. One tablespoon of olive oil. Alright, next step is the um, the garlic. And if you don't mind crushing garlics, go right ahead. It's actually better to use crushed garlic. But I'm just not in the mood for that today. I'm just going to use garlic powder. Next up is your ginger. And what me, my uncle actually showed me this trick. We actually freeze our, gin, our ginger so it's easier to, to scrape. Use this, which is great. Right, this stage, at this stage, you want to wash your hands. Or if you have your ring, take it out. I forgot to do that last time. And you want to massage. While you're massaging, now you make sure that the, the wok is really hot. Like literally, as hot as possible. You also want, now you also want to add one tablespoon of the, the peanut oil. In the UK, I think it's called groundnut oil. And once again, optional. Just a tiny, tiny bit of oyster sauce. Tiny bit. If you're leaning out and you're counting your calories or you're really you know, worried about portion sizes, uh, or just like me, you just like to keep the discipline going, even when I'm bulking, I grab a bowl and I use my scale. I always keep my scale in the drawer, so I just gotta, you know, all I gotta do is just open it up and put a plate on it. So, you grab my Walmart for like $20, real cheap. I wanna measure four ounce portions, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook it and put it in a um, in Ziploc bag, so. So zero. That's 3.7, 4.1, we'll say 4 ounces because you guys can't see it. 4 ounces, and at this point your wok should be really hot, so you want to put the, um, the peanut oil, just a little, just a tiny bit, oh fuck my hands are dirty. You want to wait till you start seeing the smoke. And then it's really hot. Yo, hon, that's why I might need your help again, bro. I want to show them how to push and pull. I want to show them how to push and pull. I don't know how I'm going to do that with the, um, with the stand. Okay. Just playing? Mm -hmm. Alright, guys, I had to borrow Hunter's help real quick. I want to show you guys how to push and pull. Um, so you have your four ounce portion. Make sure you, when you put the oil in there, you see it smoking. Make sure you um you move it around. You don't want to put too much oil. I put a little bit too much, and it shouldn't take more than 90 seconds. The smaller the portions, the quicker it's gonna cook. That's the idea. You want to push forward and then flip back, just like that. It's gonna cook within seconds. And just keep repeating the process. You don't want to cook all of it, just little by little. See, so I go back here. Trying to scale on. It says hello, hello to you too. Team 3D is gonna borrow you. Set it to zero. And I have fun with this. I try to make it four ounces all at once and I always miss, but cooking is fun guys. 4.0. Look at that. I'm fucking original. Put it on there. Wash your hand a bit, and repeat. Uh, as far as as far as this, this is up to you. I like doing this on the last um, the last portion. 
I don't want to put it on all the beef because part of it I'm going to eat today, that's the part I'm going to use this for, and the part I'm not going to eat today, I'm just going to cook it and just throw it in the freezer. Uh, anything else I got to tell them? Yeah, that's about it. And also, you can make this separately and put it to the side. All right, here's a look at the final result. That's what I'll be eating in the next few hours. And the rest, I'm actually going to eat that. Um, I'll be chinata tomorrow. Fuck! Kidding me!